Hey, what's up, big Operation iDroid here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade your iOS devices software without losing your data. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as the snap of a finger. I just wanted to do that because I thought it'd be a cool edit, but it is pretty simple. There's only one requirement. You need a computer. So if you don't have a computer, you can borrow one from a family member, go to the library, whatever. This is a super simple process and it shouldn't take too long. So without wasting any more time, let's head into the tutorial. All right, so the first thing you wanna make sure you have on your computer is iTunes because you're going to need this for this tutorial. So if you don't have it, you can follow the link I have in the description to download it and put it on your computer. Second, this tutorial is for Mac and Windows computers. I'm gonna be doing it on a Mac computer as you can see, but if you have Windows, don't worry, the process is the same and I'm sure you'll be able to follow along. Third, I just wanted to let you guys know as to why I decided to make this video because it's a little random. And the reason I decided to make this video is because there's been a lot of news lately about not updating to iOS 11.2 if you want to jailbreak. And I want to jailbreak my iOS device, but I updated to iOS 11.2. So now I'm going to downgrade my iOS device from 11.2 to 11.1.1 to make sure that I have the right software version for a jailbreak if it ever does come out. I don't know if that made sense, but let's just go on with the tutorial. So first you wanna open your favorite web browser and in the URL, paste the link that I have in the description for the ipsw.me website. From here, you'll be able to select whether you have an iPhone, iPad, or iPod. I'm gonna be doing this with my iPhone, so I'm gonna click on that. Now you'll see there's a lot of devices here and you wanna select the device that you have. However, if you notice some of them have GSM and others don't have GSM, it says global. So the difference between that is if you have AT&T or T-Mobile in the United States, then GSM is for you. If you are outside of the United States, then global is the one you should select. Or if you have any other carrier that's not AT&T or T-Mobile in the United States, then you should select global. Hopefully that made sense and you wanna select your device. So once you select the device you have here, you'll see in the red is all of the software versions that you can't install. So if it's in red, unfortunately you can't downgrade to that version because Apple no longer signs it. So the only ones that you can download are the ones in green. So just go ahead and click on one of them and it will take you to the screen here and you can go ahead and download it. So this download will begin and we'll be back when it's done. All right, so that download took a very long time. IPSWs are huge. But now that it's done, we're going to head back into iTunes and on our desktop here, you wanna drag your IPSW that we just downloaded. And once you've done that, we're going to connect our iOS device into our computer via its cable. And then once it's connected into your computer, you'll see the little iPhone, iPad, or iPod icon appear here on iTunes. So go ahead and click on that. And from here, we're gonna click on check for update while holding a special key. So if you're on Mac, you wanna click option and select check for update while holding option down. If you're on Windows, you wanna hold shift and click on check for update. So I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna hold option and select check for update and I'll get this little pop up here. And you wanna to switch to desktop or recent to find your IPSW file that we just downloaded. And you wanna go ahead and open it. And then it'll say, do you wanna update your iOS device? And we're actually downgrading, which is funny. As you can see here, it's iOS 11.1.1, .1, which is lower than 11.2. And you're gonna go ahead and select update and it's gonna do its downgrading thing without losing any of your data. As we're doing this through iTunes and we're not restoring, we're just downgrading our software, we're not gonna lose any data, just as if you were updating your phone through the settings application. So don't worry about that. And this is just gonna do its thing. It is gonna take some time, so I'll be back when the device is done downgrading. All right, so the downgrade is done. It did take some time, and as you can see on iTunes, I am now on iOS 11.1.1 .1 
and hopefully you downgraded as well. If you're watching this in the future and you're like on iOS 13 and you downgraded to iOS 12, then good for you. This process will hopefully stay true the test of time and always work. Um, and finally, let's head over to my iOS device. And as you can see, I still have all of my data. Everything on my phone is the same from before I downgraded, so I didn't lose anything. And that, I guess, is the most important part of this video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, hit that like button. I guess I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.